Hi, in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to set up an alert on your NVR on one of your cameras so that it emails you when some action takes place. For example, I'm just gonna set an alert. If somebody moves around by this gate, then I know they've arrived for work and then I can get an email to tell me that the person is there. Now, the first step is to log into your NVR. Now, you can do this using the Smart PSS app or you can do this using a web browser. For the remainder of this video, I'm gonna be using the web browser. All right, so once you've logged into the unit, the first thing you have to do is set up the email go to the top left side to go to network then select the email option all right so you'll need to enable this for gmail it is smtp.gmail.com the port is 465 over here you'll need to put your email address and then again here by the sender now the password is not your gmail password i'll now go to the gmail side and show you how to get this password all right, I've created this email account specifically for my Dahua NVR. And now what I need to do is I need to go to the settings. So over here, I say Google Apps, and then I say Account. The very first thing I need to do is click on Security. And then if you scroll down over here, it says Two-Step Verification, and it is off. It needs to be on. So I need to select this, and then you'll need to turn on your Two-Step Verification. Now, in my case, it asked me for my phone number. So I've linked a phone number to this account. You can also use an authenticator app. So make sure your account has a two-step verification activated. Now I go back and I click on the data and privacy option. In the search bar, I say app passwords. Notice it says app passwords as a result. I click on app passwords. All right, so here by your app passwords, you've got to come up with a unique name. So this is just to identify the login. Then you say create, then it provides you with a unique password for this device. Now it is advisable to copy this down because the minute I say done, it will close this window and I won't be able to see this password again. So I need to put this password over here. So in this case, I have to type it manually because it doesn't allow me to copy and paste. So you type this in, it's not allowing for spaces. So what this does is it gives the Dawa NVR app permission to send an email. But what's nice is it's not using your Google password. Right, then I'm choosing the SSL protocol because the SSL is going with the port 465 when it comes to Gmail. All right, so then you can just uh, edit the subject. In this case, I want to know which NVR it is. So it's number 253. Now, who is the NVR sending an email to? And in this case, it could still be you. So it's logging into your email and then sending an email to you. Then I can say plus, or it could be someone else. It might even be your customer and you can add all the emails in the list. Then you can just choose the interval and then you will say, okay, if there's something wrong here, it will tell you there's a problem. Now, since these are fictitious, I'm going to quickly populate it with the correct details. And now I just say, okay. And then I can say test. And there it says test succeeded. Now, if I go back into the Gmail, there it is. 101 p.m. and that's the time now. And there it says uh, alarm event, email test, etc. So it is working. Now, if you want to set this up directly on a camera, you do the same thing, you go to network, then you go to email. Then you will set it up with the same parameters, the SMTP port, the username, the password, and it will still work even if you use it here directly at the camera. All right, to get an alert, you can set it up using the alarm feature or you can set it up using the AI. I'm gonna first show you the alarm because some people don't have AI features on their cameras. So let's just look at the alarm. You want to go to video detection. There is video detection and then you'll need to choose the channel which you want to have an alert on. Right, so this is the camera where I want the alert on and this happens to be channel 12. If you're not sure the number of the channel, you can also just count going down here. I can see this is number 12 or you can click on camera and then image and then scroll through the different cameras until you find the channel where you want to set this alert. So here we are, it's channel 12. So now what I need to do is I need to tell this it's going to be channel 12. There we go. And it must be enabled. The region is very important because I only want to get an alert when somebody is by the gate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw this and I'm just going to put my motion sensing here. Now, of course, there are better ways to do this. You can use the IVS, the Intelligent Video Surveillance, and use a tripwire and things like that, but I'm just showing you a very basic way, and then I just say, okay. So it's only going to activate if there is some movement where it is highlighted red, and that is by that gate. You see, I don't want to get an alert if the plants are moving and things like that. It's only if it's by that gate, and obviously you can also set the sensitivity. Now what I want to do is I want to go here where it says more settings, and I want to say send email. So I say okay, and then I just need to say okay at the bottom right here, and that is it. It'll now send an email to all the email addresses I have in the list. So if I go back to management, I go to network, 
here in my list, any email that's populated over here will get an email. All right, so this guy has arrived for work. He's passed the zone where I set up for the motion detection and it will definitely have sent me an email. So let's go and check if the email was sent. All right, so there is the NVR alert. There's actually two emails there. There we can see 5.51 p.m. and then 5.53 p.m. And there it has the motion detection alert emailed to me. And obviously this can push through to your phone if you've set your email on your phone. Now you can also do this with the AI, which is actually preferable. You just need to go to parameter and then over here it's IVS. And then you just got to choose the channel. In this case, it'll be channel four. I've already set rules here. And notice that if somebody goes over any one of these rules, then I can set an activation where it sends an email. I just tick it there. So I find it in the more settings and I say send email and there'll be an email sent if somebody goes over any one of these rules, obviously you can set a tripwire or you can set a motion detection. And in some cases you can even set if you want a human detection or a car detection. But the point is that if you want it to be sent to you via email, you just tick here. And as long as your email is set up on the network side, you will get the email when there is an activation. All right, thanks for watching and cheers.